Well, good morning. I thought I would do a little review and oil change on this Harbor Freight 3 CFM two-stage vacuum pump. I think I've had it for about four years now. Uh, there's the model number, item number 61176, and it's done great, great for me. Uh, I've done, I don't know, let me think, about three or four vehicles where I've changed compressors, uh, pulled vacuums on them, and, and put the Freon back in. Several residential jobs. I've, I'm not a HVAC tech. I'm a HVAC tech wannabe. I've got some rental properties, and over the years, I've sort of taught myself uh, more and more about HVAC work and repair. I've I've changed out of a coil um, and, and had to you know solder up all the lines and pull a pull a vacuum, and so that worked out for me. I had a couple of rub outs, you know, where like a copper line gets rubbed into on a capillary tube, and you have to use some silver solder to patch up the hole. But, you know, because all the Freon leaked out, I had to pull a vacuum. So I've used it several times, put in a complete system last year on a rental unit, a uh, two-ton split system, and uh, pulled, had to pull a vacuum on the line set. So it's been well worth it. Uh, it's paid for itself many times over. And if you're going to do any kind of stuff like this, you know, you need to, and I wanted some speed. That's why I got this 3 CFM. I know they make uh, 2.5 and some smaller ones. But this has done well for me. Uh, one thing I'd recommend if you're going to do this kind of work is to get you a micron gauge. Uh, those are really important to determine if you have a leak and to make sure you really got a true vacuum. The standard gauges you have, they just aren't uh, sensitive enough. And with this gauge, if you happen to have a small leak, you can detect it, detect it within a few minutes of, uh, of pumping it down and, and watching, this, watching the micron gauge. They're not cheap, but... Uh, it's well worth the money. So what my little experiment here, I'm going to turn it on here. It's kind of noisy. I'll show you here. Well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull this down and, and write down the numbers. I, I had it running earlier. It pulled down to like 94 uh, microns, which is pretty dang low. You usually won't see that on the system at all. Usually about the lowest you'll see is around 300 or so on a, on a, a residential system at least what i've done so according to the little book here we i'm going to do an oil change i've already got me some oil here so i'm going to change it out because tomorrow i'm installing my first compressor two-ton compressor that had had a terminal blowout on it so i got that project to to do and hopefully that'll work out all right for me so this is our oil fill here so i'm going to let it run get it good and warm get about 100 degrees or so I'll drain it out. I think all we need is a 10 millimeter wrench on the bottom. So let me let this run a while and I'll be right back with you. All right, we've been running about 10 minutes and we got, uh, what we got? Over 100 degrees on the oil. So that's pretty good. Got it pulled down to 95 microns. I don't know if that's gonna change. I just thought it'd be a good experiment before and after the oil change just to see if it does make a difference. So let's shut it off and Shut it off and get it drained out. Just take a 10 millimeter wrench on here. Doing this with one hand. Let's see how that works out. See how big a mess I'm going to make. There it goes. Right, that's pretty good. Nice and warm. Kind of got some crud in there. I don't know how that is, but that it is. Tilt it up a little bit more. And I'll let this sit and drain a little bit more. Get it, try to get it all out. And we'll fill it back up. Okay, well the oil is drained, but I wanted to show you this. Here's what, you can see the bubbles of water in it. I'm going to try to hold it up to this light and go from underneath, see if you can see it. See all the crud in there that came out of that? It just goes to show it's a good idea to change that oil, even though it may look okay in that sight glass. It's something you need to probably do quite a bit more often than, than it probably gets done. So that was kind of a kind of a shock. Nasty stuff. So anyway, got that part drained. Of course, put your drain plug back in. Next step. Be sure to get a really clean funnel. If you don't have a clean funnel, make sure it's clean. Uh, a lot of people make mistakes like that. Just grab a funnel and start pouring stuff in there and all kinds of creeping crud. I like to even taking a paper towel, 
winding it up like into a point, shove down in there and pull it through. So that way you know it's really clean. Another thing is whenever on on anything, lawnmower, car, when you go to put oil in, when you take something off like this, you know, make sure this area is really clean. You take your take your rag, wipe away, because you know when you take a plug off, sometimes dirt and crud just drops right in there, and then you're asking for more trouble. So go like that. Got my drain plug in. Let's see here. Pulling all this magic oil. See what it does. Oops, I may have overfilled it. Let's see if it settles down here in just a second. It filled up quick. It was a lot cleaner than what it was. Wow, check this out. I'm glad I did this experiment. Look, look at the microns now. Before and after the oil change, before I was getting about 95 microns, now I pulled it down to 20. That's, that's to me a big difference. So uh, it just shows you how important it is to keep that oil change, keep it fresh. And uh, I didn't have to drain any oil out of it after I let it set here. I'll, I'll show you. So it looks like it's right on the money. And you can see how much clearer it was compared to that there. Yeah, that's a big difference. Well, now that I got it off, I'm going to repeat myself because I don't know if, it, if, it, if all that noise you could hear me or not. But the microns pulled down to 20 microns where before we was about 95. So the oil change has made a tremendous difference. So anyway, I guess that's my review of this Harbor Freight 3 CFM two-stage vacuum pump. It's done me a great job. If you're going to buy one of these, I'd get the bigger one. It's going to work a lot faster for you. I guess being two-stage two is going to pull a, a better vacuum. And once again, try to pick you up one of these micron gauges. That really makes the difference. That way you really know what kind of vacuum you got. Just going by those regular gauges, on, on, on gauge sets that we have for cars and vehicles and stuff, it's, uh, they're just not accurate enough to uh, detect any leaks or to really know when you go. Because I've been surprised when I'm pulling a, a vacuum on a, on a residential unit. I remember the, the two-ton system I put in, it ran for like an hour and a half before it finally got down to about 300 microns. I didn't think it was ever going to get down there. And and I, it's been my experience you know, watching other techs do this, HVC techs. I've, the ones I've watched over the years, I've never seen anyone have a micron gauge. They just come in with the regular gauges, pull a vacuum, maybe 30 minutes. You know, I don't know if I've seen anybody pull a vacuum more than 30 minutes. So they may get an okay vacuum, but I don't think it's near good enough. Not what the book should say. So that's another thing. If you kind of do stuff yourself or ask questions when you got, if you got an HVAC tech doing something for you, ask them where his micron gauge is. Tell them you want to see what the, what the microns are when they pull a vacuum on your line set. Uh, and just kind of see what he says. It'd be kind of curious. But, but then again, you know, doing it by the book takes a lot of time. If you're paying somebody $125 an hour, you know, and that may be a part of the deal too. You know, just, it's going to get so, they may just pull it down 30 minutes and just say, well, that's good enough. Let's get this job finished and go on to the next. But that's just been my experience from what I've witnessed. It may be different in different areas. But anyways, that's a great little pump. Hope you enjoyed the video and learned something. Have a great night and have a great day. See you. Bye.